The second of two large graduation gatherings in Hoover set to get underway in just a couple hours. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough talked to one graduate about staying safe tonight as the district gains national attention. Scenes of pomp and strange circumstances across Alabama. Central Alabama front and center on NBC's Today Show this morning as hundreds of area students attend in-person graduation ceremonies this week. That's a little disconcerting because at the same time you realize that they're not taking as seriously as they should the fact that this is a disease that's still there, is still spreading throughout the country. But one Hoover High School student who is graduating tonight says he feels his school district is doing plenty to keep students safe as they prepare to gather with their families at the Hoover Med. I feel very safe. We went to the graduation practice this morning and there they had such an emphasis on the social distancing and on the masks and everything else that has been required. Doctors say they're concerned in-person graduation ceremonies are a sign people aren't being as cautious as they should be. I know it's been a few months. I know a lot of people are tired of doing things, but at the same time, we can't let our guard down because we're going to be right back where we started from and then we have to do this all over again. Students attending tonight's graduation at the Met say they will be on guard. I feel that Hoover is going to rise above and be a great example of what you can do in this time of uncertainty and how you can still celebrate what is just the climax of the, all of your schooling years. And about 650 Hoover High School students are expected to graduate from the Hoover Med at 7 o'clock tonight with their masks. Look for coverage of that on WVTM 13 all new at 10. In Jefferson County, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.